Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Libra. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. I did see the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. I saw the Ace of Pentacles when I was shuffling, so that could have some significance. Um, the Ace of Pentacles can be, um, it can be money coming in for you. It could be a new job, a new opportunity, a new offer of commitment, stability. It could be a lot of different things. Um, we have the Hermit here, which is Virgo energy, and then we have Karmic Partner here. So yeah. Four of Wands. We have Hanged Man, Pisces energy. Clarify the Hermit. The Two of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles, clarify, clarifying the Karmic Partner card. Sexual Encounter. What? say is deep breath because what in the hell is this four of cups on the back of the deck either this is you or somebody in your energy has been trying to make a decision between you and somebody else I definitely do feel like this is somebody that may be either married or settled down with a karmic partner here who they were codependent to What is this? Someone is starting to look at things differently, though. Someone's perspective is changing here. Or somebody's getting in this energy where they want to let somebody go. It's almost like somebody has been with somebody long-term who is a karmic partner. For some of you, they're married to this person. For others of you, they're just in some type of committed uh, situation with them or they live with this person. This is somebody who, it's like almost like a one night stand that turned into something that it shouldn't have turned into or something like that. Or somebody that they were friends with benefits with or they were hooking up with and it turned into something more than it should have. Like they ended up holding on to this situation way longer than they should have. But this is somebody they've been dealing with for quite some time. But now their perspective is changing and I feel like they were caught between you and this other person. Whether or not they wanted to continue to deal with this person or if they wanted to be with you. But something, somebody's perspective is changing here because um, it says cutting karmic ties and doing the inner work. So maybe they were clinging to this karmic partner because this karmic partner, um, they didn't have to heal for this person. Maybe this karmic partner had the same demons as them. It was something like that. But now, let's see. We have the four of cups on the back of the deck and we have the queen of cups. Somebody feels that they're missing an opportunity or that they did miss an opportunity. They're not happy without you. I feel like this queen of cups is you. You're the newer person because this card says new romance on it. You're the one that they feel drawn to. It's almost like there's a person here that they were dealing with before they were dealing with you. For some of you, this was somebody that they were already dealing with when they when they when you guys met. All right. They're not happy where they're at. I feel like they do feel like you're a missed opportunity. They view you as a catch. Yeah. Wanting to conquer you. Fear of losing you. So we have the world here. Hmm. It's almost like someone's choosing to come out of like conflict, choosing to heal because they don't want to lose you. All right. So where does my collective fit into this situation? Because so we have the three of cups. So I feel like spirit is saying you're the third party. Maybe this person was trying to just be friends with you or friends with benefits with you at some point. But I feel like you're the third party, but you're the one that they have love for. Yeah. King of cups. Tell me more. Maybe a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio that you're talking about. I mean, that you're dealing with. You have the Hierophant here, Taurus energy. What about the Taurus? What about that? The Nine of Swords. Mm, I'm telling you. It's like you're in a you're dealing with somebody that is either married to another person or they're in some type of committed situation with another person. That it's a nightmare. This card says nightmare situation, sorrow, regret, remorse. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords. We have hiding feelings and eight of swords. Yeah. This person's driving themselves crazy trying to hide their true intentions or emotions or something like that. They feel trapped in a situation. They may feel stuck in a situation where they're not happy. They Why do they feel stuck there? Ten of pentacles. Because like I said, you get this person's married to them. Or they have some type of foundation with this person. Tell me more about the ten of pentacles. There could be money. 
Yeah, lessons here. Separation is necessary. Yeah, they got to leave this situation, but that's a part of their lessons. Getting out of that situation is a part of their lessons. Again, where does my collective, how do they feel about my collective? So we have the Page of Swords. This person's watching you. Yeah, they may even talk about you a lot. How they want to come towards you or they are coming towards you. Yeah, they are. Knight of Cups. Give me one second, guys. What is the Knight of Cups? The King of Pentacles. Why are there two different kings here? What about the King of Pentacles? Hard to let go, resisting change, forbidden. Why do they feel like you? Yeah, they feel like you're. Why? Hmm. Maybe this is somebody that didn't know who they wanted to be with, who they wanted to move forward with. Maybe this person's really confused about why are they watching you then? Why are they watching you? There's that four of cups again. Because they know that you're a missed opportunity or they're not happy where they're at. Maybe none of those, they have a lot of people that want them or they may have a lot of options or something like that, but none of them are you. Tell me more. Knight of Pentacles, they're moving towards you very slowly, wanting a relationship with you. But they got to remove themselves from something else here. Yeah, exactly. Five of Pentacles. They got to leave something behind here. Have the strength to do that. That's a blockage for them. That's an obstacle. And I feel like they're trying to, like, not let their emotions or their passion or their desire for you get the best of them. And, like, yeah, Knight of Pentacles, Two of Wands, yeah. Waiting future plan. What are they waiting for? It's almost like this person is trying to wait until they're in a certain status. They're very money focused because I did see the money focus card on the back of the deck. They may be trying to wait till they reach a certain level of financial independence. Because when I asked why they were in this other situation, the Ten of Pentacles came out. So like I, they could be, there's some type of financial stability that they have with that person. That they're maybe trying to achieve just on their own without that person before they completely choose a path like they choose which path they want to go down or something like that what is justice here libra energy page of pentacles the three of pentacles ace of swords this person wants to come in what about they don't want you guys to fight anymore i think they want to work on something with you yeah yeah they want to come into union with you hmm Give me more clarity on why they're holding on to that other situation, though. Tell me more about the, the situation that's external to my collective. What is the situation looking like that's external to my collective? Ace of Cups. What about the Ace of Cups? The Two of Wands. Justice, again. Huh. What does this have to do with the situation that's outside of the collective? Children. Oh. Children affecting your connection. Tell me more about that. Okay. do not feel that this person is ready to give up this past person i do and i feel like they're also not ready to give you up either from what i can see here all right um it could be because there's children involved we did have the six of cups and we had children come out um i feel i'm also getting the vibe that this person's very immature yeah yeah exactly they want to have they're not ready to just choose this person wants to have their cake and eat it too. They're they're still weighing their options, trying to see which what is the best choice for them. And it's the masculine energy that's doing this. 
Yeah. Oh, now we have the Empress here. We have the Emperor and the Empress out here. So what is that? Why? The Dark Knight of the Soul. So maybe you guys are both going through the Dark Knight of the Soul. What is the Two of um, Pentacles? The King of Pentacles. Like I said, this person doesn't know who they want to like take seriously, who they want to offer something stable and committed to. Why are they apprehensive about the collective? Mm, what about wishing? Why are they apprehensive about the collective? They're not, I wouldn't even say apprehensive. This person know exact, knows exactly how they feel about you. So what's the problem then? Taurus, Taurus, this person just needs some time to heal. They need to just spend some time with themselves. There's something else that they still need to withdraw from here. This person needs to learn independence. That's the problem. This person needs to break free from some type of, with this karmic partner card. This person has an issue with codependency. They still have lessons to learn. They're not ready. I feel like this person's still trying to figure out what it is they really want. So yeah, it's just they keep putting you in third party situations where they just keep hurting you. Yeah, they keep hurting you. What about the Page of Pentacles? They just have a lot of growing up to do. They're resisting change. Yeah. Why forbidden here? Two of Wands. What is the forbidden option? What is forbidden? Children. See, forbidden and children. Six of Wands. Straight to what? See, what about this past situation? To return to you? Someone's trying to work up the courage to return to you. Or they're trying to find the courage to end something from the past or somebody that they have a lot of history with. But the divine may be inter intervening to put an end to this because if, whatever that situation is, it's very destructive. Capricorn energy here with the devil. Yeah, the ten of, whatever this ten of pentacles situation is, they need to set boundaries in that situation. What does that do with my collection? Nine of cups. They're going to at some point come in here and say that they want to build a solid foundation with you like russian kind of out of the blue moon u.s wish fulfillment yeah there's that queen of cups again because they feel like you're the one that they feel drawn to you're the one that they have that they feel like there's the love there yeah the knight of cups why is the five of wands here maybe this person feels like you're getting offers from what is the king of wands in the hair font that well, they were conflicted about whether or not they wanted to take action or if they wanted they had to do a lot of releasing and healing before they were able to hmm. some of you some of you guys they think that you're going to reject this offer i didn't know more what's going on here <laughs> what is happening here um Give me four cards to tell me what is the situation because it's still not very clear. Okay, so they don't want you to give up on this connection here. They don't want you to give up now when you've come this far because it will all be worth it in the end. Unspoken love. They've been here. I told you, this person has always known how. They know exactly how they feel about you. They're not confused about that at all. I. They've been carrying a twerk for you all along, but unable to confess their love due to the fear of rejection. Broken. You're just dealing with a very, I told you, a person that needs to heal that's very broken, very damaged. Some of you, they have some mental health issues. Somebody had a reading like this. I can't remember who it was. They feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. Be patient. I think it was the collective reading I did last time. Yeah, they have regrets here. They're having a hard time forgiving themselves for treating you, forgiving themselves for treating you poorly, much less expecting you to forgive them. We have old wounds here. So it says their unhealed childhood wounds prevent them from forming meaningful and long-lasting relationships. So for some of you, that's the problem. They have a lot of love and emotions for you, but because they have these child inner child wounds that they're not addressing and healing and working through. They keep maybe sabotaging something with you. They keep like letting you go or walking away from you. But it's like every time they walk away from you, 
they are they like they break their own heart because it says when they set you free they felt the sting from your absence don't let their silence fool you so they're gonna end up yeah we have twin flame here which we know this is your twin flame that didn't betray you and even if they didn't admit it to you you guys knew that they did and this is somebody that says they are freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison and leaving behind all that kept them away from you yeah they know that you didn't deserve whatever it is that they did clarify betrayal betrayal divinely guided you have met your divine flame just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing what has this person done to my collective temptation they could have fell into some type of temptation or it says each day gets harder and harder to resist what they know in their heart to be true they see you as their forbidden fruit mm. the, the betrayal could have just been the fact that they shouldn't have been messing around with you in the first place because this person had another person like if they weren't happy with that person they should have left that person and then started dealing with you but i think they were trying to have their cake and eat it too why were they not one they were still holding on to a past life or something from their past or something like that but watching yeah they watch you yeah they're holding on to a lot of baggage there's a lot of baggage that needs to be taken care of before they approach you they're really trying to trust the situation can you guys shed some light on why this person is not letting go of the past that they're not happy there why are they not releasing it well, I'm not really seeing why they're holding on to it, but I, this person just definitely knows that you're no longer going to be, you're no longer, you're no longer um, allowing them to make you an option. Like they know you're no longer playing that game with them. Not that you guys were ever playing a game with them, but they just know that you're not going for that anymore. And it says, yeah, meeting you was unexpected. See, they weren't expecting to meet you. I heavily feel like you've been dealing with somebody that was already involved with somebody that they were in some type of toxic relationship with or dynamic with when you guys met. They weren't expecting to meet somebody like you. They were probably, you're dealing with somebody that, for some of you, they're, they're dealing with somebody that is lust-based. But then also you were dealing with somebody that was already committed elsewhere or living with somebody else. They had a, a sexual encounter with you. And then you ended up changing this person's whole perspective about a lot of things. Like they thought their intention was to just have like to cheat on whoever they were with. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like their intention was to just kind of like step out on whoever they've been dealing with or whoever they're committed to or living with or dating. Um, have a sexual encounter with you. Mm. And then all of a sudden their perspective about things changed why are they still holding on to this past situation well boundaries discovery and family trees so yeah there's cultural differences different values beliefs or traditions that pose a challenge to this connection boundaries they love that you set strong boundaries for yourself and walk away from those who don't respect them including them it's like they were like trying to make you a side chick but they knew that you deserved much more than that you're not side chick material or side dude material they find you extremely beautiful, but your beauty intimidates them. They think someone else is more deserving. Yeah, what are they? They discovered what? That you weren't going to put up with the bullshit. That's what they discovered. Yeah, now they, they can't stay away from you. But they, they you're like unknown territory for this person. I, they could be just staying in that other situation because it's comfortable. But they view, view you as wish fulfillment. They feel dumb. They feel dumb for how they've handled this situation. If you, if you walked away from this person, or even if they walked away from you, they've been waiting for you to return. <laughs> um, let's see. So, this person just thought it was going to be freaking sex between the two of you. And then it was something, it became something a lot deeper than that. Yeah. You guys got yourselves involved with somebody that was already married or, and you may have not even known it, or already committed elsewhere or living with another person or dating another person, all right? And this person was very lustful because I did see lustful desires. It's almost like they went to go act on their lustful desires with you and then they, it's like, boom, they realized that this was, you were, something was different about you. And then they, they didn't feel like they, they didn't want to let you go. Hmm. Interesting. We have patience here. Persevering in the face of delay, suffering in silence, but holding out, continuing on with life with struggles, but having hope things will turn out fine. 
What does that do with my collector? See, naughty thought. See, I can't help but want you physically, sexually, and mentally. You're all I think about when I'm alone and lost in my thoughts. The thought of you drives me insane. This person always wants to cheat on this person and be sleep with you. Like, it's so crazy. So that's why I'm like asking myself, well, why is this person not just leaving this situation? That's what I keep asking the cards. Sexually fantasizing about you. Strong need to be physically near you. Undeniable sexual desires driven by instincts. Tell me more. We have Sagittarius here. I said a lot of things I should not have said. I said them out of anger and fear. Sometimes I say things without even thinking. I'm sorry for hurting you with my words. Cancer energy coming through. I feel like I didn't care, but I did. I just needed my time and space to think on my own. Maybe when you were dealing with this person, they were convinced that it was just still sex between the two of you. But now that you guys are in separation, they're always wanting to be with you. Um, they're starting to realize that this was more than that. I didn't want to be tied down by a relationship because I wasn't ready to put in the work. I don't know what kind of dynamic they have with this third party, guys. But I don't know if they have an open relationship or they're just cheating on this other person. Or I don't know. But it's something weird. Yeah, spiritual practices. Becoming aware of, to intuition and guides. Meditating and releasing self-limiting beliefs. Working on inner healing and issues with codependency. Yeah, to, this person has... It's like they're, they're holding on to maybe even like a dead-end situation. Just because it's just something. They, they don't like being completely alone. If you are feeling under duress or feeling solemn, I feel it too. When you are thinking of me, I'm thinking of you too. Our connection is deep and profound and sometimes difficult to understand. We have soulmate here. I feel you are my equal. You make me want to be a better person. Not just for you, but also for myself. You challenge me to change and grow. Yeah, we have fall. So we have November 7th through December 21st. So that is present. What is that card coming out for? See, this person is wanting to come towards you. They feel so drawn to you right now, but they haven't let that other person. So if they come towards you right now, they will be cheating on this other person. Or they will be sneaking around. Or they will be stepping out on this other person. Being carried away by unreasonable passion, obsessively strong emotions for someone based on physical needs and or believing it is the perfect relationship. Why are they feeling that way about you right now? I was used to being the central focus of everyone's attention, but your magnetism outweighed mine, and I was insecure about that. What does it have to do with the present? I know there is a huge age gap between us. Some may even object because of that. However, we we are so similar in many ways, regardless of our differences. So they do feel like there's like big a big gap between the two of you, but... So what's that do with fall? What's that do with the present moment? I still don't get it. I see them wanting it. See, they want to juggle you still. That's what I saw juggling earlier too. I'm having a hard time processing what happened between us and juggling my own personal responsibilities. I need time and space to deal with everything. See, they thought they just thought they had every that things were just going to continue the way that they were. That they were going to keep having this toxic ass dynamic with this person. They were going to continue to just you know sleep with whoever they wanted to. Continue to stay with this other person. And it says, boom, they met you, Virgo energy. I had my life all planned out, focusing on my five-year plan, but then I met you and everything changed. I didn't know how to rearrange my life for you. I should have learned to compromise. This person was not expecting to meet you. You met this person when they were already involved. They thought that they had everything figured out or things were just going to continue to be a certain way. And then you came in and you changed everything and you started changing their perspective. But they, they also knew to be with you, they were going to have to completely be with you. They were going to have to change their entire life. They were going to have to leave a person. They were going to have to do, every, do a lot of things. So instead of doing those things, they tried to, to see how they could have you and also try to continue to have this situation and maybe release that situation on their timeline, on their terms. That's what this is, guys. It's so, so, um, it's like they want a future with you, but it's like they want to keep breadcrumbing you here. Yeah, I know what you want from me, but this isn't what I, that isn't. This is what I can give you at the moment. I'm unsure of what I can give you and what I can give it to you, but I do want to offer you something more valuable than before. Yeah. So they may be coming in here soon. They, they're going to they're gonna be trying to juggle you. They, they're not going to probably tell you like, hey, I got another person. No, they're not going to say that to you. They're going to try to tell you like, please, like, you know, let's come to a compromise. And I, I'm still working on some things. Yeah. I'm trying to balance the scales of my life and our connection. I took from you more than you were able to give and I used you for my own benefit. I now understand this was un unhealthy and unfair to you i'm sorry so they're gonna try to come in and try to get you to compromise with them because they do want a future with you but right now they can't give you much because they're already in another situation they're holding on to a lot of baggage they got a lot of healing to to do so this person is going to try to come in and juggle you 
gave him one more card. They still don't even understand this connection. So we have free will. So it says, independently taking action regardless of the effects, having the capacity to make their own decisions without constraints from others. And we have false flame on the back of the deck. This is who they're with. Yep, this karmic partner. A lot of chaos, turbulent relationship that they have with this person. But they know that they need to let go of this person to have this union with you. To have a new beginning with you. And they need to work on themselves too. We do have destiny here, so maybe they're going to do it. But um, give me one more card on free will and then I'm done. Yeah, I now know I have the control of my life. No one is holding me captive and no one is controlling my circumstances. I recognize the power of free will and I now choose to be happy. See, somebody could have been controlling them with money and finances. They were I told you they were very money focused. More concerned with what people think of them and their status in life. Obsessively focused on money or cares deeply about owning luxury goods. So that was the issue. But yeah, I don't care what it takes, how long it takes, who I upset, I'm going to return to you one way or another. So yeah, I'm taking a pause. Yeah, this separation is necessary. They're going through a reinvention process, but they're starting to recognize this connection. They're going to end up surrendering to it at some point here. But I do see this person trying to juggle you. All right, I'm just going to be honest. That they don't they know that they can't offer you everything right now, so they're going to maybe see if they you can you'll you'll be patient with them or you'll Right as I'm saying, yeah, patience. This person's going to want you to be patient with them, but I don't think they're going to be sharing with you all the details of this, the juggling. Whew, okay. Whew, okay.